You know what? Just look at it, though, because if you mm. touch the TV or better yet, if you go outside, mm -hmm. uh, I hope you still have your winter coat because it's cold <laughs> out there, boys. <laughs> it's absolutely frigid. It's one of those where you kind of want to look from the warmth of your living room, yeah. maybe out the window, warm cup of coffee, hot cocoa, whatever your vice is, tea because uh, it, it's not going to be warm. It's not going to be warm until, I guess, the end of the week. We're talking freezing temps. Jason, we were in T-shirt and shorts last week. Yeah, what happened? I was doing yard work <laughs> in shorts and almost flip-flops, Ted, and now it, Mother Nature. Yeah, this wasn't just any cold front. It was a cold front that snapped us back to reality and kind of reminded us of the season that we're in. Low 30s getting your morning started. So it looks beautiful, but we're below freezing in Uptown while we're still holding on to the 20s and some snow flurries for our higher elevations up towards Boone and Jefferson, starting off in the low 20s, mid 30s east of Charlotte. Highs are gonna be limited to the low 50s this afternoon, which is still falling about 12 to 13 degrees below normal for this time of year. Our mountain counties will be lucky to get above freezing during the peak heating hours of the day. Here's satellite and radar zoomed into our mountain counties where we still have some of those light snow showers that's been impacting Ash, Avery, Watauga County. Notice that the higher elevations really have getting, been getting the brunt of this in our western facing slopes, sucking up whatever is left of that moisture in the atmosphere, and it's cold enough to facilitate those light snow showers. So, of course, we've had a number of school closings and remote learning because of that high pressure that's building out of the central plains, giving us those winds out of the north. Much of that snow impacting the Midwest and parts of the Ohio Valley region into the northeast, while the purple across the northern Gulf states and into the Carolinas indicates the blast of cold for that freeze warning, which is going to be in effect yet again heading into this evening. 20s right now for Chicago. We're in the 30s towards Oklahoma City. We'll warm up today, but the mild conditions stretching back west towards Albuquerque, New Mexico, getting into the low 60s. Low 80s on tap for Phoenix, Arizona, while we're looking at low 50s for Charlotte. Again, our mountain counties limited to the 30s today. A blast of cold gives us overnight lows dropping down into the upper 20s as we head into your early Wednesday morning. So those cold temperatures really taking a hold. The skies will stay mostly clear and sunny. Your snow showers along the western facing slopes taper off throughout the day. Breezy conditions ushering in the colder air and those winds continuing to pick up. So hold on to your hats throughout the afternoon. Overnight, Wednesday, wakes up. we wake up with those temperatures in the 20s before we rebound back into the upper 50s as a gradual warming trend will lead into the second half of the work week. That'll take our overnight lows from the below freezing mark back to above freezing before a cold front brings rain chances late St. Patrick's Day into the start of a weekend. That's going to be a Friday night into Saturday impact. But then the colder temperatures return, 60s to even 50s on tap heading into your Saturday night and Sunday. Overnight lows back in the low 30s, mid 50s lasting into early next week. Just a reminder, check us out at Blowing Rock for Wednesday afternoon and evening while we'll be out there for Queen City hometown. Temperatures in the mid 40s for Blowing Rock, uptown peaks in the upper 50s as we head into your Wednesday.